Hepatorenal syndrome is a form of acute kidney injury that we see in patients with cirrhosis and ascites. Basically, it is the result of deranged hemodynamics in these patients causing severe renal vasoconstriction, thereby decreasing glomerular filtration and renal function. It is defined by a rapid increase in the serum creatinine to more than 2.5 milligram per deciliter in less than two weeks. This rare disease is likely to occur in patients who have got cirrhosis, ascites, who then have an other precipitating event. And these precipitating events usually upset the hemodynamics of these patients further. Either these patients may have significant worsening of the vasodilatation such as that occurs in an infection, or they could have lost some intravascular volume such as overdiuresis or loss of blood volume from GI bleed. And other events that can cause significant inflammation such as surgery, uh, drug-induced liver injury or alcoholic hepatitis can also cause hepatorenal syndrome. Well, you have to be vigilant in looking at the kidney function of these patients. And a lot of these patients are usually attached to a physician and they get the blood work done fairly uh, frequently. And so, for example, if someone is feeling unwell, I will be monitoring their kidney function, say, on a daily basis in order to trend the upward rise of the serum creatinine. In patients who have got some background uh, renal dysfunction, for example, the serum creatinine is a little on the high side, they are more prone to develop hepatorenal syndrome, and I will be watching them more closely, avoiding using uh, large doses of diuretics or watch out for infections, etc. So the physician has to be on the lookout for this condition. And if you are not monitoring these patients frequently, then hepatorenal syndrome can sneak up on you without you noticing. And when the patient presents, then the serum creatinine could be very high.